Skovich Lakshkar back with the weekend projects. Today I am going to show you how to disassemble this helicopter toy which is lying around in my garage from last few months. So let's try to figure it out what's inside and let's start disassembly of this helicopter toy. Here are the two propellers and here are the two LEDs. That is the tail of the helicopter toy. If we see inside here, we have a gear that drives this propeller this is the first gear uh, which is connected to this motor and the second gear above here uh, which is connected to the second motor over there so and this is the circuitry over here so let's try to open and try to figure what's inside it after removing that cover we'll have a basic circuitry of this helicopter like okay try to Gently, okay so here we have a lipo battery you can see the voltage reckoned that is 3.7 volts 150 miller mp hours so this is the 3.7 volt battery so now let's try to disassemble remove the protective tape over here so that we can get to the circuits okay so here we have a Nipo battery okay so this is the circuit you can see this is a infrared sensor over here and this is power connector to charge the battery on a switch here is a small circuitry which drive these two motors over here these two mini motors the one over here and the second one over here with the help of these two gears these are the two LED for night drives that makes helicopter while flying a pretty good so let's try to disorder the battery first and we'll move further so we will first desolder the battery with the help of soldering iron Out. this is battery over here so let's take the circuitry first here if we'll take a thing we have the motor two connection positive here and the second one is here and the first one motor is connected the positive terminal here and the negative terminal here here we are the we are the terminals of positive and negative uh, for the connection of these two LEDs, we have a positive wire here and the second negative wire here. So, let's try to find out these LEDs and the motors are in, in working state or not. So, I'll connect a portable power bank supply of 3.7 volts, which I have. So, let's try to find out and try to check LEDs. I have a portable power bank supply. This is a 3.7 volts. So, let's plug this over wire this is the negative wire of leds and here we have a positive terminal let's try whether the leds blinks or not if you power them yes here it is so we have a powering led looks very clean and crystal clear while flying you can see the second led here so that means we have a led circuit correct so let's try to power the motors and try to find whether the motors are in working state or not so here we have a negative terminal of one motor and we have a positive terminal so let's connect with them so I will, I will just attach the first wire oh like that we have a hope you can see the power driving motor you can listen the sound if not just try to see whether we have a rotating blade or yes yes here yes. we have a little power over here but it cannot drive the upper rotor or lower rotor completely and now let's try to check the second motor over here we have a second end, second end terminal over here and positive here and you can see again the second motor is also driving so we have a two motor driving over here before 
disassembly i think it's better to understand how this helicopter toy works and after in the second phase we'll disassemble the complete helicopter so now you can see here the circuit we have a motor control there is a control which on pulling up this brings the helicopter toy in forward direction and in if we put down that comes in the negative direction here we have a terminals of left and right like for a turn if you if you like this and if we pull over here this motor turns over here now while 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 sending this uh, signals this this ir led over here or we can see ir receiver over here generates a signal into the circuits and that that that's communicate with the motors how to drive the helicopter and in which directions basically the overall circuit is very simple now let's try to see what's what type of circuit we have behind this circuit so let's remove that protective cases okay fine and we have the second glue over here now properly you can see there are there is a capacitor over here this one is small capacitor we have a led over here power led that shows us that the helicopter receiver is on these are the diodes few more resistors and a small circuit over now let, let's take this circuit out of the by applying letting force we need to apply a little bit force to take it out yes here it is so yeah here we have a circuit so let's try to see what's behind this complete circuit slowly so that wires should not get the solder from the circuit so here we have a ic that receive the signals and transfers the respected signal to particular motor whether it should drive in front or reverse direction or should turn left or right and again you can see over little transistors over here two little transistors here we have first transistor that drives the first motor and here we have a second transistor that drives the second motor so you can see these are the connections for the motor this is the motor that drives the upper loader with the help of upper gear and this is the second motor that drives the loader lower motor okay so now i think this is the working of helicopter tire now what we'll do is we'll try to disassemble this complete each and every parts of this helicopter in the upcoming videos for complete disassembly of the motor so please let me know how do you like this particular video on the working and a little dis disassembly we will surely come up with the next video of complete disassembly so this is it this time uh, hope you like my video if so please don't forget to share subscribe and i will see you next time